Today, I try to survive for my life here in the Outlands. You see, I had no control over our landing, but my teammate did. So I tried to make the best out of the situation and push. My god, that grapple was horrible. As you can see, I couldn't down the player that I originally shot, so I went into hiding and thought, my god, where's my teammate? Oh. Really? It was at this moment I knew I was completely alone. So I went rogue. And I had purple, so I felt invincible. <laughs> My god, that was horrible. What made the situation even worse is my teammate stayed to see that embarrassment. And we all know what Wraith was gonna do. Turn into a box and leave. Get me out of this match. As I load into another adventure, I got the Silly Willy gun and had a Prowler as my secondary. I know, pretty nuts. I hate Horizons. They're always flipping about and bubbling over and popping their f shield bat and, and just diddly daddling. It was at this very moment I thought to myself, where are my teammates? One disconnected, and the other stayed, which was a wraith out of all of them. I was completely blown away, and if I'm completely honest with myself and you, I got a bit emotional. I tried to gather myself as I was healing. I don't think I was falling in love, but I think I was just... In the moment, in the moment, I must save this wraith. She went out of her way to heal me, and to be honest, I've never had that happen, and if it does, it rarely does, we all know it. I quickly armor swapped because they were shooting me in the back. I thought I was safe, but I wasn't at all. So I used my pew pew gun and silly willy to keep one of them off my back, because you know the other person was on their way. So I made a zip just to confuse them. The reality of the situation was, we were both confused. Like, look at this. After I quickly looted, I went to go res the Wraith. In style, of course. Oh, a little too far. There we go. After resing the Wraith, I fully believed we could tackle anything together. So we did. No obstacle was too much for us. We just kept on batting through the chaos, grappling up from the highs and knocking the people low. <laughs> eat it, eat it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, knocked one. After knocking that player, the other one made things very difficult because they kept on smoking everywhere and running away. What in the Kung Fu Panda am I looking at? They're so annoying. After finally knocking that player, I repositioned a hill as Wraith tagged in to fight the other player. I had full confidence she would finish the job. It turns out she needed me and I had no problem with that, baby. Get owned. It was at this very moment I could see a win on the horizon. I can't believe I'm fighting next to a wraith. Me and her absolutely conquering the world together. I could cry right now. I'm crying. And just like that, she was gone. And I have no idea why. I thought, was it because I said this? Eat it, eat it. No, that can't be it. Wraith are pretty toxic creatures. She would surely understand where I was coming from with that. Goodbye, my friend. Hopefully our paths will cross again one day. I didn't win that match, so I booted up into another one, and I came across a wraith that looked just like her, and they were absolutely doo-doo water. I was hoping their teammate would give a little more of a challenge, but they didn't that much. Yes, yes, there's loot for you. Besides me coping, Octane was ready for a battle, so he pushed, and I was following close behind. Why are you peeking? You should be healing. When it comes to Octane mains, it can go two ways. One, they're just crazy. Or, they're your best teammate in the world that will share anything with you. It looks like I struck gold with this one. As we pressed on, we found a team just looting away. So I grappled up to pop a quick heal. But my teammate was getting clapped by the enemy. Don't worry, I shouted. Help is on the way. <laughs> was that guy moonwalking? It was after knocking Apollo, it was a 1v1. And we both know who's gonna win this one. Me, of course. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm coming. Don't scare me like that again. Speaking of scared, this person was not prepared for the bush. After a quick reset, Octane and I were unstoppable. He would go for a boost wall bounce and I would go for a grapple. 
It was like a fine dance on the battlefield. Can you hear the music, Octane? Cause I sure can. And like all songs, we had rhythm, especially my wingman shots. I was so hyped on the way things were going, I went for a skilly doo bop bop on the jump pad and wanted to end our dance with a bang. Speaking of banged, we got banged up pretty good by the next date. GG's, my friend. GG's. Our journey came to a close, and then I began a new one, starting with frying Ash's cheeks. Speaking of cheeks, take a look at this. <laughs> Where were you going? It was at this very moment I thought, my god, I'm frying these noobs. So I pushed every fight with the utmost confidence. I don't think I blinked once during this fight, but what I do know is I was having an absolute blast. You didn't see that one coming, did ya? Get out of my lobby! Speaking of lobby, there was 36 players left on the map, and I had 5 kills, and I was hungry for a 20 bomb. So I picked up Watson and said, get ready because it's hunting season, baby. And hunting season it really was because I love playing with my food. <laughs> A bit much, maybe, but I don't care because I'm getting this 20 bomb in style. And apparently alone because Watson left me. That's okay because I'm used to playing Apex Lonely Legends. And to be honest, I'm used to it by now. This very moment time was of the essence. With five squads remaining and a Kraber at my fingertips, it was time to push faster than I've ever pushed before. But as I did, I got hit with all the memories from Wraith giving me a second chance to the Octane staying by my side. In a weird way, I feel like they're with me, watching or giving me luck or hope. Damn it all, this isn't for me. I dedicate this match to them. Thank God for this tiny rock. Okay, I'm out of here. I got way too ahead of myself. After I pulled back a bit, I came back into third party. As we all know, it's a pretty cheap move, but damn it, I'm on a budget. But sometimes when you buy cheap things, they break on you. And I broke my chance to a 20 bomb because I played like a dumb dumb. What made the situation even worse is they threw this down in my face. Really? A rat? How dare they call me a rat? I could have easily hunted them if I did not make the wrong mistake. I'm not just a predator. I'm an apex predator, and I'll get you next time in my hunt.